Breaking news, William Saliba has signed a brand new contract with Arsenal. William Saliba is going to be remaining at the club and this is a big relief for all Arsenal fans. Um, the news broken this morning by Fabrizio Romano um, on his Twitter as he's been doing. He's been prolific this summer. Let me get it up here. He says exclusively, big day for Arsenal as William Saliba signs a new long-term contract valid until June 2027. It's finally done and sealed. Saliba accepted the proposal in June. Documents are fully signed. Today is the day. It will also include an option until 2028. And then there's just been like loads of loads of people following up on the story. But um, it's great news for Arsenal. William Saliba signing a new contract. Now, this is a very, very important signing for Arsenal. There was um, a few months ago some sort of worries that Arsenal could lose Saliba. Um, there was a lot of clubs starting to hover around, big clubs. Um, Manchester United made an inquiry, apparently, about you know the availability of William Saliba. So did uh, Paris Saint-Germain. He was entering into the last year of his contract. He would have entered into it um, this year. This would have been the last year of his contract. And once you start to get down to that stage you know, you start to worry, is the player's head going to be turned? Saliba on £40,000 a week, remember, in his current deal, obviously Manchester United and PSG would be offering him like way, way, way more than that. Um, and it was going to be, you know, a task for Arsenal to persuade him to stay. And that's exactly what they've managed to do, extending his contract till 2017 and with an option to go until 2018. Also, his wages will jump. Um, it's reported that he's going to be on over £200,000 a week. So he's got himself a nice little pay rise as well. And as I said, listen, he, he's been such an important player for Arsenal. Gabriel Jesus, uh, speaking in an interview yesterday um, over in Brazil, saying that he felt that Arsenal lost the title because William Saliba um, got injured and was out for all the important games in the running. And a lot of us, you know, maybe that's not the only reason, but a lot of us felt that definitely when Saliba went out of the team, Arsenal just weren't the same at the back. The, the balance had gone. We we missed his, uh, his ball-playing attributes, his strength. You know, he really is what you call a modern-day centre-back who can do absolutely everything, is comfortable on the ball, he's strong, and it's so important that we sign him to a new deal. Of course, Arsenal first bought him back in um, 2019. £27 million we paid for him at the time. And everybody was sort of thinking, wow, who's this kid, right? He went on loan. We Remember, we bought him from St Etienne. Straight away, Arsenal um, sent him out on loan. He went on loan to uh, Nice. Uh, did very well on his loan at Nice. Really developed really, really well. When he went to come back the next season, um, Mikel Arteta decided to send him out on another loan, um, which apparently, he, you know, the, the talk was at the time, he wasn't very happy about that because he wanted to break into the Arsenal first team. He wanted to get minutes. Mikel Arteta was still a bit unsure, sent him out on loan to Marseille, where at Marseille was his real breakthrough. He, he was absolutely brilliant at Marseille. There was a game I remember when um, Marseille played against um, PSG when he had a particularly uh, particularly good game up against Mbappe. Um, he, he broke into the French national team and he stopped really, really rose. Now, when he returned back to Arsenal now, there was lots of rumours starting to circulate that um, he could be on his move to, you know, another club because first of all there was rumors that he wanted to stay at Marseille there was rumors that he was saying listen if I'm not playing regular first team football I may not want to come back um Ben White was in there in that center back position um right sided center back so how was he going to dislodge him well he came back did a brilliant preseason went straight into the first team and the rest as we would say is history he was brilliant and Everybody then started to say, we've got to sign this guy. We've got to sign him to a new long-term contract. And as I said, there were clubs starting to hover, as you would, you know, when you're seeing a top-quality player, um, young player, 
moving into the last years of his contract. But Arsenal have got their man and they have signed him to a brand new contract. And this is excellent, excellent news um, for Arsenal. And again, Mikel Arteta, Edu, doing their business and doing their business well. I've spoken about this already that, you know, um, on my transfer daily shows that whilst it's important to be bringing in your Declan Rices and to be bringing in your Timbers and Havertz and these sort of people and all whatever other signings we make, it's also just as important to hold on to your best talent. Um, we sh we uh, did that with Saka by giving him a brand new contract and signing him up, one of the best young players around. Um, we've done it now with Saliba, another one of the best young players around, and we've tied him down to a new long-term deal. I mean, you've only got to look at his valuation right now. Also, as I said, we paid £27 million for him. If you look on, on some of the things like Transfer Market and various other sites, they value him, him at around, around 65 to £70 million. I personally think that he'd be worth more than that right now. If you look at, um, you know, currently Manchester City are trying to buy uh, Gavardio, just Gav uh, Gavardio from RB Leipzig. And uh, there's a lot of talk that Gavardio is probably going to cost them nearly £100 million. It's certainly going to probably be the most expensive centre-back in the world by the time City have tied down that deal. Um, I think they've bid £80 million. RB Leipzig want more. Probably going to get up to about 90 say. Right? I think Saliba is in the same bracket, if not worth more. He's played in the Premier League. He's proven himself. He's a, he's a French um, international you know, which kind of holds higher stock, you know, than being a Croatian international. It's, it's just the way it is. It's no disrespect to Croatia, right? So I think personally, he's possibly worth more. So for Arsenal to tie down a player of this talent is so, so important. And you can see he's he's really bought into what's going on at Arsenal. He really is Mikel Arteta's man, and he really is a fan favourite at the club. So... Great news this one for Arsenal. Let me just um, once again recap on it. It was uh, Fabrizio Romano breaking the news exclusively this morning. Um, that big, It's a big day, he said, for Arsenal as William Saliba signs a new long-term contract valid until June 2027. It's finally done and sealed. Saliba accepted the proposal in June. Documents are finally signed. Today is the day. It will also include an option until 2028. As I said, current wages, wages about £40,000 a week. Going to probably take him over £200,000 a week. And William Saliba confirmed to be staying at Arsenal. And for me, it's like a new signing. So well done um, to everybody involved in that. And great. And I can't wait to see Saliba back fit and playing in an Arsenal shirt. We have missed this guy so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, you will not miss a thing here on AFTV. We update you on all breaking news throughout the day. So subscribe to the channel. Also follow us on our podcast, the Transfer Daily Podcast. That's out every day on your streaming services or here on YouTube, on TikTok, on Facebook. We're everywhere. Make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.